Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a quick demo of MacTrack as a Fosh app. I actually created this icon here. It's a, I'll zoom in on it for a moment. It's actually a picture of radar. I illustrated it myself. And I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on the Pine Phone because it is fully functional on the Pine Phone. So when you click the icon here, it comes up and asks you for a password. And the reason it asks you for the password is because it requires root. Because what it does is it actually listens in to the Wi-Fi probes that are being done by all devices that are disconnected from Wi-Fi. So if you have a device in your home that is too far away from your router, it's going to pop up on here. And if you see it frequently on here, you might want to move it closer to your router. And why is that? Uh, well, it's a security hazard to have it consistently disconnecting from Wi-Fi. It's also a privacy concern. As you can see here, this is a demonstration of how your Wi-Fi devices give out your saved networks. And this can be used, I also added an SSID location search, which uses a publicly available open source intelligence database called Wiggle, which is done by users who run the Wiggle war driving app. And what it does is it maps out all the SSIDs around them and puts them on a map for public viewing and searching. So this I thought was important to show as an example. And also, as I mentioned, your Wi-Fi devices that are showing up frequently on here, that will mean that they are having to reconnect. And having to reconnect frequently means that those devices are giving their handshakes, their authentication handshakes, which can allow someone to crack the password to your Wi-Fi. So that's a pretty big concern. So you could use it to check on your own devices, um, of course, it's for ethical purposes only, and for the moment, I haven't got it all put together for, um, I have put it all together for Fosh on my phone, but I still need to put everything together to upload. And let me know what you think. Do you want to see something like this on my GitHub or my Odyssey file sharing? That's another cool thing about Odyssey is that you're allowed to not only share videos, but you can upload files and packages as well, and I've taken advantage of that. So... Um, would you like to see this? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you want to see this as a Fosh package, that's something that I can actually create like an install script for you, let me know in the comments below. Comments and interaction, all that stuff helps the channel, so I appreciate it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the SSID location search feature. We would hit Control and C. And what that'll do is drop us into this SSID search box here. It's a little prompt. And from here, you can then search for some of the SSIDs of interest where, say, you don't recognize something or your device. So we'll go ahead and pretend one of the SSIDs that showed up was public. Wi-Fi and we'll see what comes up. And everything that shows up in locations and data, all that stuff will be logged to a file as well. So I added that. And this is just a, a little proof of concept that shows you why it's important to change the SSID on your router. The reason for changing your SSID on your router is because it won't show up in the searchable location database. And I thought it was important to demonstrate the usability of something like this in order to track devices. And it's something I don't usually share these kinds of things on the channel because I'm really trying to help people protect themselves. And I think it's, you know, just an example of how people who may be in a dangerous area, you know, if they have old saved SSIDs, all that can be linked up on a map and track that individual's movement. So it's pretty important to change your router's SSID. Not only do that, but delete all the old saved SSIDs on your devices because those are the same SSIDs that are being shown on MacTrack here. So let me know what you think. Do you want to see me put together a Fosh package and share it? If you have a Pine Phone or a Librem or something else, 
uh, let me know. And of course I'll include that icon and the configuration file you need for it. And everything should be easy to set up. I could do a small install script. And let me know what you think in the comments. And I will be back later with protecting your privacy, Linux, open source, the Pine Phone, and the Pine Tab, and Software Defined Radio, coming soon.